What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Moto WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to apply this search form, this optimized search form into a page or into a post independently of the location that you want using any page builder that you like, okay? We're gonna learn how to display this search option, this search field onto your site, okay? So in the latest video on our YouTube channel this one right here, I'm gonna leave a link in the description below and a card over here. We did learn how to create this amazing search function, how to optimize the search function of WordPress. So when we type blog, it displays the results right here, it show optimize it, it show word suggestions, okay? So do, I do recommend that you review the, this video so we can start from there, okay? And into this one, we're gonna learn how to display this search form that if you are using our Enzo free WordPress team, appears into the header. However, you may need to apply this search form into the middle of your page. And this is exactly what we're gonna learn into this video. And before anything, please hit the subscribe button, like this video and share this content with a friend of yours. After installing and setting up the plugin that I recommended to the previous video, we're gonna have this option onto our WordPress dashboard, the Ajax search light. And into the top of the field next to the like and the social buttons, we have the search shortcode. We also have the search shortcode for templates, but we will not work with PHP in this video. We're just gonna focus into the simple things that a beginner and an advanced pro user of WordPress can do. Okay, so copy this short code right here and go to the page that you would like to display the search field. I would like to display my search field into the top of my home page. Okay. So I um, did this page using Elementor page builder plugin. So I'm going to click into this button, edit with Elementor. I would like to apply the search into the top of the page. So I'm going to click into this plus button right after the sliders. If you want to have this slider to nice elements, I recommend that you install the Bordless WordPress plugin, but I talk about it later. After clicking to this plus button, we're going to be able to search for elements. We can apply a text editor, for example, in the case that you need. And instead of this text, I'm gonna post the short codes. Let's preview chains. And as you can review, here is a big search field. We may need to make this shorter, so. Let's change the column layout, for example, to this one. And I'm gonna just drag and drop this column right here. Let me remove this column. I think it's nice. Let's reveal. And here are the results I got. I can type anything right here. Nice, right? It's very good for sites with much contents like, for example, properties, real estate, portfolio, images, some directly. Okay, so let me remove this and do once again. Click on the plus. Apply some column layout, the layout that you want. Right here, I'm gonna apply a heading for my text. And after the heading, I'm gonna apply the text editor. Delete the text, post the short code, update the page, and let's review the results we got. And here we go. 
simple, easy and effective. Now, let's learn how to apply this search field, this amazing search field into other parts of our site, okay? Let me just move this content. I think it will it would be better. But let's explore this later. Let me exit the Elementor editor, okay? So we can go back to the WordPress dashboard. And from my dashboard, I would like to create a new page. And to this new page, we're going to explore how to apply this short code using the block editor that this is this native WordPress editor window. So once right here, we have a couple of options to do, but I recommend that you click into the plus button, search for short codes and apply this short code. Okay. Just this. Let's preview the page into a new tab. All we gotta do is apply this short code that we just got into the plugin page into this one, okay? And here is the result we got, a search field working. This part right here, it's because you are the admin of the site, the final user will never see this, okay? No need to worry. And in the case that you want to apply into columns, search for a column, find the layout that fits for your needs, into the very first column, the, the middle column, search for short codes, apply the code. Let me just delete this previously added blog, block, remove it, and preview. And here is the result I got. This short code also works in two widgets, okay? So no need to worry. You just need to apply this short code as a widget. WordPress already have a search and a product search in the case that you are using WooCommerce. Let me show you the difference. So into the very first one column, we have the WordPress native search. Into the second one, we have the optimized search. And into the third one, we have the product search, okay, for WooCommerce. Let's preview so we can check the differences. As you can review, this one show no results into the search field. This one show results into the search field and have a better design. And this other one still do not show results. Okay, so choose the best for you. Now let's explore how to do this using the WP Bakery page builder. Once on page, you can go to a previously edited page or go to add new. Click on WP Bakery. You can use both front end or back end. I'm gonna use the back end to make things simpler. And here is the layout. I'm gonna start adding some element. For example, I can add the text block, maybe. Let me search for the text block. Here we go. I would like to have some heading, for example, search here. Let me align it to the center. And next to it, I just gonna apply my short code. Click on that right here. I'm gonna apply this column into some other layout. So we can have some spaces to the left and to the right. Let's preview. And here is the result we got. Simple, easy and effective independently of the page builder that you are using. Once again, review the previous video, the previous video, so you can learn how to install and set up this plugin. And that is, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. In addition, in the case that you want to do a site like this one in my demonstration, fully compatible with plugins like the Ajax Search Lite plugin, 
install and download our Enzo free WordPress team present on wordpress.org so you can install for free on our site and in the case that you want to have more widgets, elements, templates, tools and blocks for your Gutenberg, Elementor and WP Bakery page builder I recommend that you download and install our borderless WordPress plugin this is the best add-on for multi-page builders that you can install for free okay Moreover, in the case that you are in need of a landing page on your site for your business or sales page fast and have no time to spend, go to visualmodo.com, review the templates library and purchase one of our Pro products, okay? So the Enzo Pro or Visual Modo Pass, so you can install one of those amazing pre-built websites with a single click only and you can start with a ready and optimized website immediately with no time okay and that is i hope you guys enjoy this video and i see you tomorrow all the best